I want to talk to you today a little bit about water. I wonder if you've ever found yourself cooking dinner and filling a pot full of water to make a big bowl of pasta or whatever, and started to wonder, what's in my water? The fact is that contaminants in water vary according to the water source. Lakes and rivers in the Midwest carry different contaminants than mountain streams in the West. In New York City, the water source is high quality, but aging conveyance systems result in contaminated water at the tap. The most recent issues with drinking water pertain to the presence of pharmaceuticals and what's known as toxic soup. Numerous medicines are commonly prescribed these days, as, a, as I'm sure you know. But, but what people don't realize is that excess quantities enter water systems through our urine and then flow downstream to the next community using that water source. So you get that point. Whatever, whatever you're taking in, the excess amounts are coming out, going down through the toilet into the water systems down the river to the next town. Now those people are drinking those contaminants as part of their water source. Hundreds of chemicals have been found in the Mississippi, below Minneapolis, the Platte River downstream of Denver, and the Potomac River upstream of Washington, D.C. and surrounding communities. So if you're ever wondering about how decisions get made in Washington, D.C., we could maybe attribute it to uh, the water those folks are drinking. Uh, the toxic soup phenomena is exemplified in the St. Lawrence Seaway where beluga whales wash up dead on shore with no obvious signs of what killed them. Upon examination, their body tissue reveals that they would be classified as a hazardous waste. This is because their fat, the body fat of the whale, has absorbed all of the toxins in the St. Lawrence Seaway. Interestingly, there is no single source of pollution that this can be attributed to. Rather, there are literally hundreds of chemicals all being used within regulatory limits that the whales absorb. Now, granted, Canadian limits differ from the U.S., and that does have some effect as well. Now, when scientists recently discovered male bass in the Potomac River were carrying eggs and other traits of female fish, water supply managers were quick to point out that there's no evidence to suggest that this water source is harmful to humans. Mark my words. This statement will be retracted one day. What's happening is that we're on the verge of a new understanding of the extent to which we've abused and polluted the same water that sustains us. We've screwed up. Another out-of-date phenomenon is the way the water industry itself takes a one-size-fits-all approach to providing drinking water systems. Generally, a simple carbon filter or reverse osmosis is recommended as all you need to provide safe water for your family. And this may in fact be the case, but it depends on your water source. And that's the point I'm trying to make today. In fact, carbon filters have been clearly demonstrated to provide a growing media for bacteria. You get that bacteria colonies inside your little Brita filter uh, mounted on your faucet. And reverse osmosis systems have been discredited by, discredited by numerous studies that show they don't remove nearly what the public has been led to believe they do. So the approach I like to take is actually to get on the phone with you and we get online, look up your water quality report if you're getting um, your water from a municipal source. We can see a list of the regulated contaminants online, and then we can also assess 
um, where it comes from, whether it's groundwater, surface water, what other contaminants might be in it. If you have a well, then we always, I always start with a water test. Um, we order that test, test your actual well, and then go over the results when, the, when they come in. Um, if you'd like to learn more about water issues, stay in touch, learn more about what I do, you can find me at www.cleanairpurewater.com. My name is Jim McMahon, and I help people achieve healthy water in their homes. I'll be sitting here waiting for your call. <laughs>